he did still had to get in the rain and prove himself, he was able to rise to the occasion today, which is great. And, you know, uh, hopefully we can do it again. You look very beat up. Were you feeling your age? Well, no. The fact is that, you know, I got hit in the face, you know, but, you know, uh, a warrior is a person that takes the bumps and lumps and always come back. You know, I, I was like this when, um, when Ready Bow, the first fight. Second fight, I came back and, uh, you know, they, uh, they healed. Did you think you had to knock him out maybe down the stretch to win? Did you, in your heart of hearts, think you were possibly or probably behind? Well, the, the fact is I take one round at a time and I, I do all that I can. And once I do all that I can, then that's it. That's all I can do. What wasn't working? You know, we talked about the fact that it was very difficult to get inside this guy. I it never then work, then it did its job. What was working for him? Well, well, you know, the thing is he was able to do things that because, uh, because of me. I, I couldn't get in my position because he would beat me to position, which is good. I mean, that's what fighting is all about. Did he surprise you and impress you? Was he faster of foot and certainly had more hand speed maybe than you bargained for? Well, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, you know, uh, he had a, a good night. You know what? And my night wasn't all that good, but, you know, I made it through. And I, I'm happy. He's happy. Well, may, he may not be happy. He felt that he probably won, but well, all, all together is very upset. Well, well, you know, he had to get over it. We all have to learn to get over things like that. And finally, uh, just like I trained for any fight, Lennox did. Den Lennox had a great fight, and you can't take nothing away from him. Everybody always thought that maybe that's what boxing is all about, that give a man a chance to see what a man did to show, and he showed that he, he could fight. Lennox also showed he could land the jab. He did it consistently throughout the fight. Did you land enough punches to win this fight in your estimation? Well, the whole thing is that, you know, like I said, the judge is there. The point is, is that if I'm watching the fight, that means I'm not working. The fact is I was working, and, and the fact that the fight turned out, this is the way it turned out. Times that I felt that I won the fight, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the decision. But, you know, that's life itself. Does Lennox Lewis deserve a rematch, Evander? Of course Lennox uh, deserves a rematch. Uh, the real deal! We here. We here to face all of our accusers. Don't be shy. If you think that he lost the fight, tell him that you think that. The judges didn't think it. All right, so he's ready to do it again. Yeah, where's Lennox? Well, um, I, had, I had problems tonight. You know, tonight I had problems, and uh, it worked for him. Tonight. When you get a man hurt, you're supposed to finish it. You don't play chess with it. Where was that third round? That's what I want to know. What happened in that third round? Well, Lennox, you know what? Have you ever thought about when we fight again? I got another chance to do it. Well, I said all along he was going to fight the best fight of his life. He did. Uh, he fought a good fight. You know, he fights good tall. You know, uh, he, he takes the hook away from you very well because he lays back. He don't give you his head when he's punching. He, he lays back, and we call it in the bucket. He looks like he's running all the time. Vander had trouble getting in. He had trouble cutting a ring. He had trouble getting inside and breaking him down. When he got inside, Lewis held him, you know, which was smart. You know, he, he could only get one shot off on Lewis. And uh, I think Lewis fought a very smart fight. Don, you're the trainer. you got to worry about getting your guy together each round and, and regrouping and going to another plan. But it didn't seem as if Evander had another plan tonight. It seemed that he had to get in, and he wasn't, and the jab was working enough, and it was hurting him. And he just, you know, and he couldn't adjust. Yeah, but in the later rounds, his, his jab... I never said Lennon was no more than a champion. I didn't build him up, and I didn't tear him down. I'm not the type of person to take in about a character. The fact is, I went in there and it was Lennox that was able to hold me off. And I can't do nothing but say, well, you're the man fought a good fight, and maybe next time. Do you regret I made my mind up yet? Should I quit or not? I, I knew I didn't want to quit. Holyfield seems a little discouraged sitting in the corner. Now he has a long fight in front of him. As the fight moved into the fifth round, the gap widened between a tactically commanding Lewis and a surprisingly dispirited Holyfield. He was kind of laying back against the ropes, watching and waiting for me. Seventh round, Leonard said he had established his dominance over Evander in every area. And at this point in time, Evander was very frustrated, confused. He got past 
the excuses that I was making for myself to quit, then I started doing better.